That's a really cool looking patch. What's going on guys? F5 of the card guys back with my trusty mason jar of goodies just so I can explain what's actually in here. Um, I was going to make myself a Negroni and then I realized I didn't have basically half the ingredients that's required to make a Negroni. So I made some swamp juice instead and it turned out to be pretty good. All right, today we're going to be doing some budget basketball breaks. All right. Um, the Book of Pedersen is gone, and the Canucks have been doing all right now. Uh, granted, it's a small sample size, but you know what? They've been doing all right. We are going to be breaking some budget basketball product. We've got some superstar packs from Pristine Marketing, a Hall of Famer pack, two jersey or memorabilia packs, as well as this amazing basketball surprise bag. Uh, I don't really know why people like watching videos of these surprise bags. They seem to do better than actual basketball cards, but uh, for those of you who know, basketball cards are actually really hard to get now. I've got a bunch on pre-order, but I haven't gotten any calls, so I, I don't think I'm gonna get them anytime soon. Anyway, let's start it off. Let's use the trusty assistant we're gonna cut open this surprise bag and see what's inside. Hopefully I did not damage anything just yet. Okay. We've got a pack of 2010 to current. Oh, the biggest hit, some card sleeves, a hundred sleeves. These things can go on eBay for almost 10 bucks. So I will definitely take that. I get it's BCW and not uh, Ultra Pro, but Good stuff. Let's put this aside. They'll come in handy. What else do we got here? 12 card random pack. We've got a franchise pack of eight cards and three basketball rookie cards. All right. These things are actually super hard to find on uh, the pristine site. So hopefully that's a good sign. I'm going to save this one onto this side here. Um, Let's do the 12 card pack because it's so generic sounding. I don't even know what's in there. We'll do the franchise next, the 2010s, and then, uh, yeah, we'll go in this order exactly like this. We'll save those memorabilia cards for last. Let's start with the 12 card break. We're gonna use the book, or I guess the card of Kyle Ocpozo. Let's see what happens, guys. Trusty assistant, the scissors are back, making their return. To the card guys here they just dropped a bunch of garbage on the floor here i'm sure somebody will not be happy with me when i find or when they find it but anyway here we go 12 cards first card is a dennis schroeder followed by a ooh, steve bartle top stadium club then a bryant stith What's this? 91, 92. All Star Games checklist. Cool. We got more David Robinson. Last time I pulled one of these, it was all David Robinson, so somebody really doesn't like him. We got ourselves a Rolando Blackman, a Miss Thurl Bailey. Stadium Club has really cool picks. Skybox, this is cool. Uh, Robert Ori. Skybox one here is indented, which is kind of cool. You see it right there. So Robert Horry, there we go. Um, what do we got here? We've got a Tom Gugliotta and a D Brown. Mark Jackson. And the last card is Jamal Murray. All right. Jamal Murray is pretty sweet. 2017-18. Yeah, all right. I like Jamal Murray, so we'll hang on to that one there. Uh, that's the 12-card break. Let's see what's next. The franchise pack. So I assume this means um, every card in here comes from one team. I already forgot what was the card on the outside, but I'm sure 
we'll be reminded of it shortly. Here we go. Cleveland Cavaliers. Okay, that's pretty sweet. So there's a chance we can get somebody like Dion Waiters. So we'll start with Alonzo G. I'm in Shumpert. Danny Ferry. Brad Daughtry. John Morton. Mark Price. Dion Waiters. Speak of the devil. There he is. Dion Waiters. Uh, what is this? Prestige. Okay. And a Tristan Thompson. Super hype Canadian Tristan Thompson. What the heck is this? This is complete. Panini complete. And this feels like absolute garbage. It's about the same thickness as this franchise pack. That's how flimsy this thing is. All right, there's probably a reason why nobody really collected them and now they're in these uh, dollar store packs. I digress. Let's stay on topic here, guys. Here we go. We did get some card sleeves, so that's pretty sick. Trusty assistant, don't fail me now. We are going to the 2010s. Let's see. Here we go. Josh Smith, Andrew Bogut, Jeff Teague, Tabocephalosa, Cephalosa, and Miles Turner. Okay. Not bad. The cardstock's pretty cool. You know what? I just touched the book of Kyle Ocposo and I realized I haven't been tapping it. That's probably why we've been getting a bunch of no-namers and not just because it's a dollar store pack. But we did pull Dion Waiters, as I had said. So here we go. The book of Kyle Pozo. We get three rookie cards in this pack. Let's make it count. Just three cards. All right. That's cool. Panini Select. McCall Bridges. It's a cool looking card. Definitely thick stock. Panini Select is a pretty awesome uh, uh, card set to collect. Don't know much about McCall Bridges, but maybe he explodes out of nowhere. Here we go. We've got uh, Jamie Watson and Adam Keefe. So for sure, it's that McCall Bridges card that uh, definitely stands out. I'm not sure if it's worth anything, but um, yeah, let us know below. Superstar pack. We've got two of these. Then we go into the uh, Hall of Famer. So let's do the two of these. Three cards. Each get a piece of Kylock Pozo there. Perhaps we can knock off Kyle Pozo and bring out the book of Adam Keefe. Uh, but we'll see. Maybe there's somebody else in these superstar packs that's worth looking at. There we go. Andre Drummond, rumored to be going to Toronto. Colin Sexton, that's a pretty cool card from 2019-20. Uh, pretty sweet. And Rudy Gobert. Not much to say about him, but had a really interesting press conference that really kick-started off the uh, pandemic and the uh, panic. But uh, I digress again. Let's stay on topic here. DeMarcus Cousins with the Golden State Warriors. DeMarcus Cousins again with the Golden State Warriors. And Jalen Brown, Don Russ Optic. Like I said, I love the Don Russ optic look. I think that's really cool. Um, but DeMarcus Cousins fans, I've got a bunch of DeMarcus Cousins cards now. Man, imagine if he only stayed in Sacramento. Here we go. Let's see. We've got ourselves some Hall of Famers. Let's see what uh, pristine counts as a Hall of Famer. David Robinson, again, Patrick Ewan, and Scotty Pippen. I think I already have this one somewhere, so we've got two of these Scotty Pippen cards now. Okay, the main event are these two hit packs. Before we get there, I'm going to drink this random concoction that I put together. Mmm, delicious. All right. First pack, Book of Kyla Pozo. You could be replaced by whatever's in here. Let us take a gander. It's a thick card. It is a football card. All right. 
I guess uh, I got mixed in with my basketball stuff that I ordered. But we've got Marion Barber the third. That's a really cool looking patch. 71 of 75, Marion Barber the third, 2006 NFC touchdown leader. That is cool. Now I'm worried this might also be a football card, so it might be something I missed in the past. But look at that patch. That is a sick looking patch, isn't it? That is cool. That is really cool. All right. Uh, Book of Kyle Akposa got me the wrong sport. There's a good chance that this is probably the wrong sport because of my own negligence. But uh, I digress again. This one's super thin. Andre Kurilenko. Andre Kurilenko NBA Hoop Signature. That is cool. I used to love Andre Kurilenko AK-47. Sweet player. Um, that's a cool looking autograph, isn't it? Playing for the Brooklyn Nets at this point. So that is cool. I'll take it. Andre Kurilenko NBA Hoops Auto. All right, guys. As always with the card, guys, let us know what you think below. Did we get our money's worth? I probably don't think so. Though these... Uh, Card sleeves are pretty sick. Um, that being said, guys, as always with the card, guys, like, subscribe, leave a comment below. We want you guys to stay safe, stay healthy, um, enjoy each other's company. Again, socially distanced. It's snowing out here in Vancouver. There's no better way to socially distance than with a bunch of snow. Um, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the break. You know, a good subscription always helps us a lot. And uh, yeah, well, I'm always curious to see why certain videos do better than others. Some of them get four to 500 hits and some of them get 10 to 20. So I don't know. I can't figure out this algorithm. But uh, yeah, thanks a lot, guys. Enjoy. Take care and stay healthy, guys. Cheers.